Dear students, namaste and welcome to today's English class of grade 7. We are in unit 16 today and dealing with writing 2 and grammar 2. So, we are almost at the end of unit 16. And do you know what are we going to do in writing second? Okay, yes. Today's writing second and grammar second both are interconnected. So, while talking about writing two, also we talk about uh, grammar two. And while doing grammar two, it somehow it is helpful for writing two. And in writing, in writing we talk about stories. Do you like stories? Yes, most of us like stories. So, it is story time. I'm going to tell you a very nice story to you. Okay, let me show you the story. Okay, look at here. Okay, I have brought story in the circular form. What do you think this picture, uh, this is a picture, right? A picture, a circular form is over here. What is this? Any guess? Oh yes, we can uh, guess right looking at the figure as well as the title, right? What is the title there? The sun and the wind. Okay, we have a story, story of the sun and the wind. I am going to paste it, this on the board, okay? Let me paste you, paste this on the board. Now, I am going to tell you the story and this paper has been cut, the paper has been cut into the shape of sun, okay, sun because this is story of sun, okay. Uh, now, the story begins, oh, here it goes, the sun and the wind, once there began a quarrel between the sun and the wind. Once there was quarrel, quarrel, fight, okay. There was a fight between sun and who? Yes, wind, wind, okay, windy. Each of them claimed to be the stronger than the other. Both of them were claiming they were stronger, okay. What happened then? They saw a traveler going along the road. Then both of them saw a traveler. A traveler was walking there, uh, passed by uh, where they were fighting. And then what happened? Can you make a guess? What happened? Did they stop fighting? Let's find it out. He was wearing a coat, okay? Just like mine. They were also wearing a coat, okay. They decided to, decided that one who, uh, who could make the traveler take off his coat. They were having a fight, argument, they were arguing that one, uh, one is superior than another. So, they decided something looking at the traveler, who is the superior one. And they decided the one who could make the traveler take off his coat would be the stronger. Then the uh, winner will be chosen like that. And the wind tried the first. Then who got the turn? Wind. Wind got the turn. And what, what might the wind do? Any idea? Okay, yes, what could wind do? Wind could blow here and there, right? So, it might do that. It began to blow fast, okay, as we could guess. It began to blow, wind began to blow. The traveler felt cold, the traveler felt very cold. What do we do when we feel cold? We wear warm clothes, right? We need more clothes. Do we take off our coat? Obviously not. We need warmer and more, more clothes when there is windy environment, when wind blow here and there. So, the traveler felt cold and the traveler said, 
the traveler said. How cool it is. How cool it is. Let me tighten up my coat. So it tightened up the coat. Started to put buttons. All buttons. Thus the wind was hopeless. Because the purpose was not fulfilled. Actually it had to make the traveler take off the coat. But it was just opposite. Now it was the turn. Now it was the turn. It began a turn of the sun. Okay, it was a turn of the sun. It began to shine brightly. Who began to shine brightly? Sun. The sun. It grew hot, more hot. What happened? What might happen then? Obviously, yes. When we feel hot, what do we do? We don't need more clothes, right? Okay, it grew hot. The traveler said, what a change. The traveler was so, um, it, it could not understand what was going on. So, surprise, it was surprise. It did not know what to do. What a change. He sweated, a sweat a lot, sweated a lot from head to foot. Then finally, what did he do? He took off his coat, okay, took off his coat. Thus, the sun was the winner. Okay, what an interesting story, right? The sun, sun and uh, the fight between the sun and the wind, who won? The sun won, right? Okay, so this was the story. Okay, if you have also read such stories from storybooks, please share stories with your friends, okay? So why we, we read this story and why I am asking you to share the story? Because writing too is related with writing stories. Here it goes. See, let's, let's go to the activities given in the writing too. Here it goes. Writing too. What activity is there? This one is the first activity. Writing too. Activity A. Okay, what's there in activity A? Look at here. Arrange, number A, arrange the sentences to make a story. So, these sentences we have uh, A to F sentences and these sentences are in the wrong order. We have to keep in the right order, okay, right order and it forms a story. Look at here, number A, she said that they were brown but they were actually black. Could it be the first sentence? Obviously not. Number B. Ram told Anu to return the donkey to him. Number C. Anu was caught and Ram got back uh, his donkey back. So it could be the last sentence or it could not come in the beginning, right? And then Anu insisted that the donkey belonged to her. Anu told that it belonged to her. One day Ram saw Anu riding on his lost donkey. Ram covered the donkey's eyes and asked Anu the color of its eyes. So looking, reading, after reading these sentences, what do you remember? Okay, yes, the beginning of the sentence. How do we select the beginning first sentence? So wherever we uh, write story, we begin with once upon a time, once, uh, a long ago, long, long ago, right? In this way, we begin the story. So, looking at these sentences, number E could be the first one, right? Let's check out whether it is correct or not. Oh, yes, this is the first one. One day Ram saw Anu riding on his lost donkey. Okay, this is the first one. Then what happened? The next incident. So if it saw, then obviously it would to tell to the person. Ram told Anu to return the donkey to him. It belonged to Ram and Ram told Anu to return the donkey. Then what could be the third one? Let's go to the third. Have you found third one? Okay, that's wonderful. This is the Dhamma. Third. Anu insisted that donkey belonged to her. 
then what what might happen oh yes number 4 ram covered the donkey's eyes and asked on the color of its eyes okay it was a trick of ram so very clever ram was very clever and uh, to find out whether anu was telling the right or not what it do, did do it covered the eyes of the donkey so had it been uh, uh, known by it it belonged to uh, anu then anu would have quickly tell the color of the eyes but what happened she said they were brown and what was the um, real color they were actually they were black and what happened as a result anu was caught and ram got his donkey back so we have rearranged this statements now it is a short story Uh, you can write it in a paragraph. Okay, the events uh, joining joining is events. Like you begin with uh, Ra. One day, Ram saw Anu riding on his lost donkey, and then Ram told Anu to return the donkey to him. But what happened? Anu insisted the donkey belonged to her. Likewise, join all these events, and it forms a story. and finally you can give a suitable title for that story as well this is activity a to form a story then let's move to next activity okay what is next activity look at here okay number b is uh, this also sounds very interesting what kind of activity is this let's read it out number b Your friend Anjali was going to school yesterday. On the way, she saw an incident. The following picture show the sequence of events. Okay, sequence of events. This picture shows sequence of events. Story means the sequence of events either in the picture form, pictorial form, pictures as you we can see, or in the word form. Events. They are events. Obviously. Now what we are to do? Okay, let's let's observe picture first. Observe it properly. Okay, what's going on here? A house in a fire. House was caught in a fire, and we could see somebody telephoned. Telephoned to what? Obviously, fire brigade, right? When there is fire, we call fire brigade. And then fire brigade arrived and. Um, It, the people of uh, the firefighters let's say uh, started to put out the fire and it was all done the fire was out and then people started to rebuild reconstruct it okay so this is the story this is the events sequence of events now write a story based on the pictures above use past tense you may start like this Yesterday my friend Anjali was going to school on the way she saw a house catching fire then she called the firefighter department the firefighter came there within 10 minutes they put out the fire they thanked Anjali the house was repaired the story was over so what i suggest uh, what i would like to suggest you is please collect such sequence of pictures and then form stories and share with your friends so this is what about our writing two activities now it's time for us to enter into grammar second okay grammar second activities what is there in grammar second okay let's check out okay a party in a restaurant do you remember this story a party in a restaurant of course you do right in previous class we went through this story and did activities related to this story but this time we will go through but no we will not talk about this story but the verbs used in the story okay we will just talk about verbs used in the story let's check out a party in a restaurant it was my birthday last thursday 
and I decided to celebrate it by inviting a few friends out to supper. So let's focus the verbs only. I'm not going to read all. Look, okay. So first was was, was. Then decided. After that, let's go through the quickly other another verb. Where is there? Okay, two cho uh, chose, and then okay, that's all three, three verbs was decided chose. So these verbs are in the past tense, right? Okay, this is the activity. Underline the verbs, past form of the verbs. Okay, in this story, is was decide decided choose chose. Likewise, in another paragraph, when we enter the restaurant, I was surprised to find it completely full. Okay, so entered, right? Entered, was, and then looked, recognized. What else is there? Okay, explained. Look at these old verbs, all are in the past form. And then another one more, okay, came is also there, said, okay, was repeatedly again. Now let's move to another paragraph. The waiter then pointed to a table in the corner. What is here? Pointed. Okay, then what's there? Was again, same. Then paid, pay, paid got up right laid so sat these are in the past form okay i would like to suggest you as i so so you here over over here you also underline in your book okay past form of the verbs one more paragraph is left what is there the unfortunately our table was almost out of sight so here was again tried what else other verbs okay saint was again ordered where pleased okay so we have underlined in this way now what is there next mm, one more paragraph is there i advise my friends about the best dishes advised went kim good informed left okay so we have underlined all the verbs in the past over here likewise okay uh, now look at the board everybody look at the board uh, you remember the story that we read in the beginning right the sun and the wind we went through this story so like uh, we did with the story given in uh, reading second a party in a restaurant from here also let's let's list out some of the verbs uh, verbs from here like mm, what we have began began right began and then what's there next okay claimed claimed what's their next so and then okay was let's not do decided decided okay likewise take a story any any story and then you uh, start to list out verbs from there so these these verbs are from the stories and what we discussed use past tense okay past tense past tense in the story these verbs are past forms past form as begin began it, the first form is what begin claim claimed right we do this is past form claimed claim so c first form is c decided First form is decide, right? Decide. In this way, you have, can list out the verbs from any of the stories. Take a story 
and then underline either underline or you can list out bhav from there past form now let's continue our grammar second exercise what is there let's see hmm okay again we have a wonderful paragraph over here let's check out what is this read the following passages carefully notice the highlighted words okay we can see highlighted words over here in a different color now let's read this paragraph noticing the highlighted words last weekend madhavi and her friends went to a nearly uh, newly opened mall went is highlighted over here they had never been to this uh, mall before had never been to each time they had planned had planned to visit it some other work came up they had to cancel their plans they had never imagined that a get together and outing of this kind of would be so much fun Madhavi and Rupali had already selected a beautiful dress to buy. Amit and Binit had agreed to buy momos for all of them. By the time they left the mall, they had seen amazing displays in each of the shops. They were exhausted as they walked to almost every shop. They felt lucky that nobody they were with had been there before okay so highlighted words like went had never been had planned came had to had imagined had imagined had agreed had already selected left had seen walked failed had been what have you noticed over here Yes, all these highlighted form are past form of the verbs, right? Past form are uh, simple past or past perfect. They were based on simple past or past perfect. So, being based on this, we are going to fill in the blanks. Do the fill in the blanks activity. Number B, fill in the blanks with suitable forms of the verbs given in the brackets. Use simple past or past perfect tense. Number A. Fred the Radot spent his holiday in Italy. He wanted to learn Italian. So, what would be here? What is the past form of spent? Spent. Right? Spent. But here we need participle form. Spent. Spent also. Spent. 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 We say spent. Had spent is the answer okay here we need participle form because already past form is here right this event already passed now number b jill had phoned her dad before she had phoned already perf uh, perfect tense is there now leave we just need past form what is that left good left her office Number C, when she arrive, what is the arrive, uh, arrive, now we have to put it in the correct form, the match had already started, had already started, perfect is there, now we just put it into arrived, okay, number E, before she did out the song, she had played the guitar, sing, sang is the right answer. Similarly, number F, they watched a video after all the children had gone to bed. What would be here? They watched, had gone to bed. Perfect tense is already there. Now, just past we need. Number G, after Eric had prepared a delicious meal, he called his friends. Number H, I Okay, B, B uh, we have to use B form, past form of B is words. Very tired as I had studied too much. Number I, they had painted their house before they moved in. 
Finally, number Z, after the after the man had come home, he fed the cat. Okay. So, what we have practiced now quickly we will go through the structure. Okay. Let us go to the structure over here. Uh, here it goes, the structure. Hmm. Past simple tense or simple past tense, what we say. How, uh, what, is the, what is the structure of the past simple tense? Here, subject, bhav, object we need, and bhav we use in this tense, past form of the bhav, like she walked yesterday. Okay, this is simple past tense, structure of simple past tense or past simple. Uh, in a negative form or in the negative form also we can write like negative form is subject did not we use not we insert not did not verb in the first form when there is use of did we use first form of the verb and then object like she did not work yesterday and then we can write it in the question form also like did subject verb in the first form. And an object example for did she work yesterday that means okay so simple past simple past tense is about it is also known as the second form of the bhav it is uh, it is used to describe an action that has taken place in the past and was already completed one for example i went to the market to buy some groceries this is simple past tense. Some uses now. Let's go to some uses. Okay, let's talk about uses. Like we can use it for the series of completed action in the past. When actions are in the series one by one, like my brother woke up, washed face, got dressed, and left home. Next, we can use it for completed action in the past. Example for. He went to Paris two days ago. Third one is we can use it for a single period with time expressions. Example for my father talked on phone for five minutes. Another use we can use it for the habit in the past if it is used um, adverbs of frequency like I always did my homework on time when I was a student. So, this is about past. Now, let us talk about past perfect tense. Past perfect tense structure. First of all, we go to structure that is subject plus had plus bhav in past participle form and then object. So, example is she had gone out when I came into house. We can use negative form of this uh, tense as well, negative form. When we use negative form, just not is inserted, right? Had not and remaining portions are same. Example for she had not gone out when I came into house. And we can use question form as well. And there we, you know, had, had, it start with had had subject verb in the past participle and then object question mark is a must. Example for had the film started when you arrived at cinema hall. Now this is the definition past perfect tense tells about an event that had happened in the past and was finished before another action took place. So this is also called past of the past. The action which was completed before the past tense. This particular tense is used to describe an action that took place and was interrupted by another action. Now let us talk about some uses of past tense, past perfect tense. Number one, it is used for the past action already finished when another action happened. After the film had started, we arrived. So two actions are there. Number two, for the past action that started in the past and continued up to the given time in the past. Example for, I had never seen him for five, five days. Next, for unreal and imaginary things, wishes in the past, like 
we wish we hadn't eaten so much. Finally, in reported speech after the verbs like said, told, asked, etc. Example is she said she had some. Swim some, had some. Now there are some project works you need to carry on. Okay, we have already talked about past tense, perfect tense, and it's over. Look at the project work that you need to do. The project work you need to do is create a storyboard. Okay, storyboard. You have to make a big board with story and bring more stories on it and paste it and then you can share these stories with your friend. So you can do it, do this work in the groups and compete which group would make the best one. And finally, there is one more activity in extra bit. See, the series of um, sequence of events are there. So you have to rearrange it. Okay, put the pictures in the correct order, this sequence of events and use past tense to describe the story to your friend and you can access each other. You can check whether the story is correct or not with each other. Like your friends will do yours and you will do your friends. So check whether the story found by this picture is correct or not. So with this we have come to the end of today's class and we did a lot of activities today. Hope you have learned well. Uh, like from beginning we shared about uh, in story writing in the writing session and then in grammar session we talked about past tense and past perfect tense. Hope you enjoyed this class and learned well. That's all for today. Thank you and Namaste.